Getting ready for court. Going to court can be stressful. If you're like most people, you're nervous because you don't know what to expect. We hope that this video will help you feel more at ease and prepared for your hearing. If you have trouble hearing or speaking, or if you don't speak or read English well, call the court and tell them you'll need an interpreter. What to wear. It's okay to be yourself, but make sure your clothes show respect for the court. Avoid wearing any of the following. A hat or any other head covering, unless you wear it for religious reasons. Sweatpants. Jeans that are very tight, very baggy, or ripped. Anything that shows your underwear. Anything low cut or flashy, like club outfits. Anything with an in-your-face attitude, like big writing, swear words, sexual references, or political messages. You don't have to dress up too much, but court is not the place to make an extreme fashion statement. You want the people who work at the court to focus on what you're saying, not on what you're wearing. You'll be going through a metal detector in the lobby. Hi. Hello. To get through security quickly, bring only what you Anything need. Else in your pocket? If you're wearing something with a lot of metal, like a heavy belt buckle or jewelry, you might have to remove it to get through the metal detector. All right, come on in. I think my shoes are gonna go off. Knives and other weapons, including sharp utensils, will be held at the door. Hands up, please. Food and drink are not allowed in the courtroom unless you have a medical reason. Okay, you are all set. Grab your stuff. Documents. Don't forget to bring your hearing notice and any other papers that might help your case, like copies of past court orders, police reports, pay stubs, bills and receipts, medical reports, letters, emails, and other written messages. Check to make sure you have all of the documents you need for your appearance in court. If you're not sure if you'll need something, bring it just in case. Child care. It's hard to say how long you'll be in court, so don't make any other plans for the day. You want your hearing to go smoothly. It may be too distracting for you to have your kids with you, so only bring them if you absolutely have to. Noisy children will be asked to leave the courtroom, so have books or toys on hand to keep them busy. Who to bring with you. If you're going to court for a family matter, like a divorce or custody hearing, you should think carefully about who comes with you. It's better if they are not directly involved and can stay calm and give you good advice. Having a new boyfriend or girlfriend present could increase tensions and make it harder to resolve your case. A witness is someone who saw or heard what happened, and witnesses are often the best evidence you can have. You can't just repeat what someone else told you. If you have someone who you think will make a good witness, bring them along. Getting to court. Getting to court early is important. You can lose your case if you show up late. Give yourself plenty of time to park and get through the courthouse metal detector. Many courthouses don't have parking lots, so you might have to park on the street or find a paid lot. And often there are long lines at courthouse security. Once you're inside, use your hearing notice to find the right courtroom or ask someone at the clerk's office where to go. The clerk's office is where you usually go to file papers. Most courthouses also have a court service center. The court service center staff cannot give you legal advice, but they can explain court procedures to you and help you to fill out forms. You can also borrow their computers, copier, and fax machine. The hearing. Once you find the right courtroom, check in with the clerk's office so the court knows you're there for your hearing. It's best if you sit quietly while you're waiting for your case to be called. The marshal will ask you to stop talking, chewing gum, reading, or playing with your cell phone. Before you see the judge, you may have to meet with a mediator. The mediator works for the court. Their job is to try to help both sides resolve the case with a written agreement instead of the judge deciding the case. The mediator cannot give advice. You will be sitting in a room with the mediator and the person on the other side of your case. Lawyers also attend mediation, but friends, relatives, and witnesses will have to wait outside. In mediation, be polite, wait for your turn to speak, and answer any questions the mediator may have for you. Everything that happens in mediation cannot be told in court. You have a right to see a judge if mediation does not work out. 
If you end up seeing the judge, stand when he or she enters and leaves the room. When it's your turn, listen carefully to what the judge is saying. Wait until the judge is finished talking before you speak and be sure to address him or her as your honor. Remember, when going to court, be on time, always try to look your best, and act respectful to everyone who works there, including lawyers, mediators, and clerks. The court system is there to help you resolve a dispute. You can help yourself to a better outcome by following this advice. Good luck!